So I am with two women who work with kids on a regular basis, and Monica, they have been fascinated by the entire segment. Great job. I am with Laura Newcomb. She is the owner of the Autism Academy, and Shannon Mitchell, who is the director. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so let's talk about Autism Academy. How does it differ from other schools, and why should a child attend? Well, so what our parents say when they are looking for a school is they come in and what they're looking for is individualized instruction, spe specialized programming, which is what we offer. Mm -hmm. um, our teachers are all highly qualified. Many of them have special specialization in autism. Um, our teacher teacher to student ratio, we have a basically a four to one ratio for our high level students and then our lower functioning students, we have a two to three to one ratio. So um, it, it really is the class sizes and the individualized instruction as that well. That really is important to mm -hmm. a lot of folks. Tell me about what your mission is um, for the school, for parents who may be watching thinking that might be uh, the place for my child. Absolutely. So our mission is really to, um, to support all students on the entire autism spectrum to receive, uh, receive academic, social, and behavioral excellence in an environment centered on strong character values. So we're really supporting all of those areas for kids. And I know you talk about, especially on your website, that you have two pathways to graduation. Tell me about yes. those. We, we actually have an academic pathway and we have a vocational pathway. Mm -hmm. So really our kids that are um, more vocational, um, they're focused more on the academics and um, you know, going on to secondary education. Mm -hmm. We really try and support that. We are an accredited school, um, so we we line up with all the state standards. So we really, those kids that want to go on for that, we help them attain that. Other kids that maybe that's not their goal in, in life is um, they want to do something more vocational bent, then that's where we come alongside of them and we help hook them up with the right job opportunities or shadowing opportunities to where they can go down a different road vocationally. We're watching some video from the school itself. Um, tell me a little bit, Shannon, about uh, the accreditation process. How difficult is that? Yeah, um, It's actually a, um, a, a challenge, um, I think, for any school, but we really focused on the customizing of programs, making sure our curriculum is in line with the standards. Um, and it was um, a year-long process, but you had to be established for a couple years first before you went for accreditation. And so we had to have all of the stakeholders involved, our teachers, our administrators. We had to compile a huge report and then they actually had to come in and spent um, a couple days at our school mm -hmm. really talking with everyone so knowing that our report is what they really saw and so we are super excited at the end of last year that we are accredited through WASC which is the Western Association School and um, uh, Colleges to be accredited our, as a K-12 institution. Fabulous. So, uh, Laura, going back to um, you know the parents who might yes. be watching, thinking this might be the appropriate place for Absolutely. their children, what questions should they be asking to determine that? Absolutely, they should be asking um, the teachers if uh, how what the training is, how how highly qualified they are. They should be asking class sizes. Um, asking what the ratios are in the classrooms, what specialized programs they offer outside of just the, the reading, writing, and math. And we have phenomenal programs. We have dog therapy, art, music therapy, all of those things in addition to. We do clubs, we do electives um, where the kids, and actually our kids lead our clubs. So we're teaching them leadership roles and and all of that integrated is the social support that so many of our kids need. Yeah, all the things that they need to thrive. Absolutely. Uh, Shannon, tell me about the locations because I know you sure. really try to you know reach everybody in the valley um, and you have more than one campus. We do, so we're very lucky to have grown so that we can support more families. So um, our first location started in the Gilbert. We grew to our Tempe location, which is our middle school, high school. And then last year was the first year of our Peoria campus in the West Valley. So we now have expanded East and West Valley and we hope to continue to grow in our West Valley and open another location soon. Well, we wish you the best of luck. I uh, want to let people know that if they are interested in this school or have any questions, they can reach you at autismacademyed.com. Mm -hmm. Ladies, thank you very much thank for you. being here. Thank we you appreciate so much. you joining us here on Arizona Daily Mix. Thank and when we come back, Danielle and I will let you know what is coming up for tomorrow because it is a Friday Eve. Don't go away.